So this is pretty cross combed, perpendicular basically to the bars. So we got some rescue combs, which are basically these um, rabbit cage metal grill that we cut so that it's got prongs and we can impale or skewer the combs onto it. And we're gonna measure here just about yay the the depth of a bar like this I'm sorry like this we're gonna measure that much and go cut across the whole bar to see what we're looking for and what we're working with so I'm gonna make some space here by pushing this back a little bit I'm gonna smoke the bees very gently to kind of get them out of the way here and I'm going to go with that depth of knife all the way across here. So this is a small, small colony. I don't expect to find many bees in there. And we freed up the first bar. As you see, it was pretty perpendicular. So now we can see a little bit better what we're doing. I'm going to push Put that bar that I freed up as part of my table on the left side. Ooh, a little bee. And I'm gonna try to go and cut. So I see this first comb right here. I can probably get that one because it's tiny. I'm gonna set it aside for now because I'm going for the bigger combs. Same thing, I'm gonna take the width. Oh, this one's coming out already. So I'm gonna go dig even further out. See if I can detach it. No, not quite. So I'm gonna keep going here. All the way across, very gently. Trying to not crush or cut any bees, especially not the queen. You can feel my bar coming up. So very delicately, I'm gonna remove this one as well. And we can see a little bit what, more what we're doing. I'm gonna put this bar down right here. Give me more space to work with. Okay, so now I see pretty well where I'm going with this. I'm gonna smoke a little bit more here. Push them to the back for now. And I'm on the wrong side of the camera, so I'm gonna move over there. And cut the entire comb, very gently holding it vertical with my fingers. And this one's just nectar and pollen, so I'm gonna go and skewer it without crushing bees if I can. Very gently, just enough so that the um, rescue bar is coming through. And I'm going to go for the next one. I'm going to do the same thing. I think they're going to be attached, so I'm going to go and One more bar here. I'm going to put it right here. And here I'm going to cut this one comb so you can see where it's going. And I get some more nectar. I don't have a queen. I'm actually going to flip this one over because it's kind of vertical in the center. So I'm going to shake the bees, flip it over. Get some cool, uh, brood, but it's very small. So I'm gonna do this and put it on the rescue comb. 
which it is now. And as you can see, now I have my comb has been rescued. So I've got a really nice comb that's straight now. So I'm going to remove this bar, put it right here. Next one, I need another rescue bar. I'm going to work with that by cutting now. It's better if the knife is clean. I like serrated knives. So same thing, very delicately hold it. I got some bees, but not very many. This colony doesn't look very good, but it has very few bees. So I might need to give them some brood. I got eggs though. So there's a queen in there. Somewhere. Yeah, I got eggs everywhere. So I'm gonna put this one in there. And I'm probably, because I know the next combo over is going to be pretty big, I'm going to take that little one and kind of skewer it over here. Give them a little something to work with. It's a little uneven, but this way it's rescued. Yeah, it doesn't work because that comb's actually I started by the little one. I'm going to have to undo this one delicately and move it over because it was actually touching the side of my hive. There we go, I need another rescue bar for this one. So I don't know why they're doing so poorly. I think the queen might be bad or they don't have enough food. larvae. I do have a queen. I want to make sure that she's not on there. I'm going to shake those bees. I'm going to take the side that doesn't have as many bees and hang it on there. They're fairly flat. And now I can set it up like this. is actually hanging on for their life. This one is an X shape. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this one right here. See if we've got the queen on there. one's gonna be a little trickier. Mm -hmm. I probably have my queen somewhere in there. Oh, 
that's the problem when you hang the cages from between the bars. I recommend actually when setting up a package in a Kaba hive to take the um, mesh side up and leave the cork in for a while, but put it flat at the bottom by the middle of the hive on the entrance side, mesh side up um, so that they can come and feed the queen. Otherwise, that's going to get into the way of the hive building. And that's what happened here. Cute little tiny guy here. We'll see if we can save it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to not crush the queen. She's probably hanging in there. And I'm going to cut the top part right here. Right there. Instead of having an X, like a chromosome sign, now I have an actual comb. And here's my queen. So she's over there, right here. If you see her, she's right here. So we're going to be very delicate and let her possibly... There she is. She's going into the hive. I very delicately flung her a little bit without hurting her. And she's going on the closed side of the hive. So this is too big. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use another comb. And I have another one in the car. So let me use this one right here be able to build around that okay and that little guy I think he was attached like this so I'm just gonna attach it like this there we go look at that cute little guy okay now I'm gonna go and get the other rescue bar from the car bar right here this one right here didn't get that bar and I'm gonna take that last little comb right here very delicately shake as much as I can I've got larvae in there so that's important So because it has larvae, I'm going to put this one between the food one right here. I'm actually going to put one more bar here. Not with the ones that are perpendicular, I'm just going to flip that bar over like this, so there's enough space like this that, I don't know if you see the larvae here, but that's where it's at. <laughs> 